My name is Brenda Spina, and I'm the Honor Director of the Center for Family Healing and also a clinical family therapist. And I'm here with the last of four areas that we've been talking about. We've talked about our relationship with others. We've talked about priorities in life. And we've talked about having an attitude of gratitude. And now we're going to take a look at our integrity. Now, many of you will say, well, that's one thing for sure this world lacks is people with integrity. And in many ways, this one hit me between the eyes and it hits a lot of us between the eyes more than we realize. And here are some things that we had to take a look at and answer honestly to ourselves first and then to share with our small groups together with one another. It asked us this, does your walk match your talk? It's often been said that behavior speaks louder than words. In reality, it's really true. And I thought, oh, busted. Because there are times that we embellish things, I've embellished things, only seeing something from one perspective and trying to see it from everybody's point of view. But my integrity has to do with me being honest. And the further questions helped me really thoroughly evaluate this. It said, have you ever been dishonest in business dealings? Have you ever taken things from your place of business or church or another organization that you may be a part of that didn't really belong to you? And of course, if we speak something, we need to be honest about that part of us. Because another question is, have you ever taken on like this false humility, hoping that the person opposite of you would think you were just so together and cool? I think if we're all really honest, we've all done that. And it takes a lot of courage to answer these kinds of questions. So easy does it. If you write these down, take a few minutes to even answer them in your head, Give yourself time to really think about it, not to shame or humiliate, but to show you how you can move forward and what those areas in your life are that keep you from being all that you can be. Thank you for joining me in this healing moment, and I look forward to sharing again soon with you.